Philly two five four eleven life back at it. So what do we have on deck today? Is I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna show you guys how to install OBS into your Steam Deck. So first things first, you want to go to the Discovery Software Center, go to the search bar, and just type in OBS. Now, full disclosure as always, I've already installed OBS. Matter of fact, I'm using OBS to record this. All right. So you're gonna already see it's been installed. For me, it's gonna say removed. For you, it's gonna say installed. So that's what you want to do. Hit the install button. Easy peasy. So what is the well, well, we'll talk about the benefits of OBS versus Decky here in a little bit. But let's go through with the installation. So you're going to click on install. You're going to let it do its thing. It'll take a few moments, and then you're done. All right? So first, so after you've installed it, you're going to go ahead and open it up. Now, it may be on your desktop. I can't remember. It may end up being on your desktop already. If it's not, you just have to go to your start menu and just go to the little search bar and type in OBS. It'll be there. All right? So anyway, it's open. One thing you're going to notice is that it has a few things already there. It looks daunting, but don't worry. You're gonna see something called scenes. You're gonna see something called sources, audio mixer, and scene transition and controls. So it's not difficult, it's not difficult, trust me. And again, I'm just gonna show you how to use it on the most basic of levels. What scenes is, basically, each scene, you can have different controls set to it or different, uh, I guess, options set to it. For example, you can have one scene set for just streaming, one scene set for, set for just re screen record, and you can choose different inputs for whatever and whatnot. Nothing crazy. But again, for this purpose, I'm just gonna show you the basics of just screen recording. So you're gonna hit that, I'm gonna start from scratch. Hit that plus symbol. Now you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna leave mine as scene two, the default name. And now for the source, you wanna choose screen capture XSHM. That's gonna be the screen. You can tell it's working because you can see your screen kind of mirrored there with the infinite screen mirror in there. There's gonna be a few options in there. You're gonna see a uh, screen, capture, cursor, additional settings, and different crop options. So that capture cursor, your cursor won't be seen on your recording. So FYI on that. I'll leave mine on because obviously I'm showing different stuff when I'm doing my screen recording or whatnot, but you can take you can choose what you want. You got advanced options as well. Advanced options as well, and well, I can see all the different crop options that got available there. An advanced option, you have one. I think it's called Server X, or X Server Settings. Yeah, X Server. I'm not 100% sure what that is. Again, I'm not an OBS professional. We got the other YouTube videos out there that can show you that. Anyway, you can just leave everything as default, and that's what I'm gonna do for what I'm using it for. I'm using, using leaving everything as default. Hit OK, and then you got your audio mixture settings. Oh, hold up! Before I go into that, you can you can see right here the little red lines. What those are? That you can kind of adjust the size the, of what the actual. See, there you go. Change the size around all you want to. I don't really mess. With, again, I'm using full screen. You can see the whole thing. No big deal. No big deal. Now you got your audio mixing options. You can choose your audio source. There's a desktop audio, which is the audio from the games or whatever from the Steam Deck. And then you got the audio, the actual audio source, which is where you can just, for example, your mic or whatnot. You can mute, you can lower the volume, you can change the source, whatever you want to, whatever you may need to do. And then you got your, your scene transitions. If you got multiple scenes that kind of work together, different transitions. And of course you got your different controls and whatnot. And those are on the far right over there. So your different controls are pretty simple. You can choose to start streaming, start recording, studio mode, settings, and exit. All right. Of course, mine's already showing stream uh, recording, so it's gonna say stop recording. There goes your your studio mode. You see your different scenes and whatnot if you're trying to set that up. But the main thing we're worried about is settings. All right. So we're gonna click on settings, and then within settings, you have all your typical settings that you you may want, you may need. But the main ones we're gonna be looking at. Is going to be your output now mine the great mine is grayed out at the very very bottom which says recording because obviously we're recording so we can't mess with the settings but then there's streaming settings you can set what kind of streaming service you want to try to stream if you want to go that route i'm not streaming yet but as far as recording i you leave most of that as the same except for where i'm where it's all going to be saved and the reason why is because what the default place where it's going to be saved is a uh, some something in an obs folder a, a location within the obs folder and i ain't got time to be looking around to find where that's at so 
under normal circumstances, you can hit that little browse button and you can change where your so your recordings will be saved at. But since I can't do that, I'm just gonna go open up my little file explorer and I'm gonna show you exactly where my, my recordings get saved at. So right there, I typically save my recordings where it says videos. It's a, if you open up your, your file explorer, there's like a little pen section on the left there where it has certain things pinned, home and whatnot. Videos is one of those. I set mine to go straight to videos. Same place that the my decky recordings go to. Everything's a one-stop shop and everything's there. And as you can see, it shows the MKV settings. Deckies, I think it's MP4, so I can clearly tell what's what. It labels it with the date. So that, you, that way, you, the date, and I think time too. Okay, I think it's just date. So that way you know what recordings is what or whatnot. And it's that simple. It's that simple. And at that point, you're pretty much done, homie. It's not that hard, not that difficult. Real simple. Now, again, I'm going to make this very clear. Very clear. This is not a, a comprehensive OBS tutorial. That is not my game. There are videos out there that do that. I am not an OBS professional. Don't come at me in the comments talking about he didn't show you how to do this or how to do. I'm not an OBS professional. For what I use it for, it worked. These settings work perfect. Anyway, if you like more walkthroughs, Steam Deck news, tutorials, how does it play, what not, like and subscribe. Cruise through the playlist. And I'm out.